Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to lecture number 44. So, we have been discussing about the restricted three body problem. In that context, we uh, looked into the expression for the Langrange points and thereafter uh, we also uh, worked out uh, what will the location of those Langrange points in terms of the earth moon system and the earth sun system. So, we proceed further with that. So, already we have looked at uh, the Langrange points we have denoted by x. Okay. So, any distance from here to here to this Langrange point this has been denoted by capital X. So, from here to here to L 2 this is again x the same way to L 3 this is also has been indicated by x. So, for the sun earth system and sun moon system. So, we will list some values of uh, this mass of the sun earth and all those things. So, that mu mu star can be estimated and all the cases the mu m 2 we are taking as the smaller mass mass of the two main bodies. So, for sun the mass is 1.989 into 10 to the power 30 kg for the earth 5.9 7 4 into 10 to the power 24 kgs and for moon 5.9 So, this is the mass of the sun earth and moon. Now, the respective distances earth sun distance one point four five nine seven eight into ten to the power eight kilometers. And this is written as one astronomical unit, this is the mean distance. For the moon earth system, this is three point eight four four into ten to the power five kilometers. So, these are the mean distances. Also, we can list mu sun, which is nothing but g times m sun 1.327 into 10 to the power 11 kilometer cubic per second square. Early for mu earth three 
3.986 into 10 to the power 5 kilometer cubic per second square. So, these are the values given to us and using this we have to uh, Okay, for moon also we can note down because for moon also will require somewhere here we can note down mu moon four point nine zero three ten to the power three kilometer cubic per second square. Okay, so with this, uh, these values available to us, we can explore uh, what are the locations uh, of those Lagrange points. So already we have solved, and in the case of the L2 point for the L2 point, and then the Sun Earth system and the Earth Moon system. already we have written uh, last time 1.1557 similarly for L3 we have for the earth sun this is 1.00 and the earth moon we have written 1.0051 So, this we worked out last time. So, remember L1 is the intermediate point, L2 is the rightmost point we are indicating, and L3 is the leftmost point in our configuration as shown here in this place. So, therefore, for the earth moon system we can show all these points like this here the earth is located this is your earth and this point the moon is located okay. this point is your barry center. So, accordingly as the values are given here. So, we can see on this side L 2 is lying here on this side and from x is being measured from this place. So, L 2 is located here and x is measured from this point. So, this is 1.01 on the normalized scale. Similarly, on this side L 3 is lying here So, L 3 is located here and it is a distance from this point then according to this uh, 1 point 0 0 5 1. and L 1 is given to be 0 0.8369. So, somewhere 
from the Barry center this is located at certain point this is L 1 and distance from here to here this is 0 0.8369 on the normalized scale. Okay, here in this case the mass of moon we have we are indicating by mu star. So, the earth mass is being indicated by 1 minus mu star this distance from distance from this place to this place this we have indicated by mu star and uh, distance from this place to the moon this is 1 minus mu star. So, mu star this distance or either the mass ok because it is a normalized scale it is a non dimensional therefore, mu star is here which corresponds to mu 2 m 2 divided by m 1 plus m 2 or mu 2 divided by mu where mu is nothing but g times m 1 plus m 2 and uh, mu 2 is nothing but g times m 2. So, on that scale the mu star turns out to be 0 0.0122. So, this distance is 0 0.0122. So, what will be the distance up to the moon it can be computed this will be 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.0122 okay, from the Barry center the location of the moon. So, you can check immediately where the Barry center will be lying with respect to the center of the earth. So, a rough calculation we can do here in this place or maybe on the next page 0 0.0122 into let us say 6400 kilometers ok. So, this is the kilometer. So, this will be the location of the moon from the Barry center means the Barry center is B and the rightmost be this point if we write as C and this is your earth. So, this point we have named as A. So, B C will be equal to B C equal to 0 point uh, sorry not the B C, but A B this quantity is A B. The distance from here to here this is mu star equal to 0 point 0.122. So, this multiplied by the actual distance we have to multiply it by the mean distance a b this equal to zero point one two two multiplied by a times c. So this is zero point zero one two two times we go back here and this distance we have moon earth distance 3.844 into 10 to the power 4 kilometers 10 to the power 5 3.844 into 10 to the power 5 kilometers and if we work out this so roughly uh, this we can write as 1.22 into 3.844 into 10 to the power 3 kilometers. And if you multiply this part, so we can see that where the uh, Barry center is located from the center of the earth. So, A B gives you location of the 
battery center from the center of the earth. And this turns out to be around four, six, eight, nine kilometers. I will just check once here. Three point eight four four, and Four point six. This is four point six eight nine six eight into ten to the power three kilometers. So this is equal to four six eight nine point six eight kilometers. And what is the radius of the Earth? Radius of Earth is around six thousand four hundred kilometers, which we write as six three seven. Mm, Six kilometers. So well, we can see that the barycenter, if this is the Earth and here the Moon is lying, so the barycenter is well lying inside the Earth itself. So this is point A, and uh, this is point B. If B is here, B is located here, and this is point C. So barycenter here in the case of the Earth. And uh, the moon, this is your Earth, and this is Moon. So it's a line inside the volume of the Earth itself. The similar thing happens in the case of the Sun-Earth system. Uh, here also, the very center lies inside the Sun, and the calculation can be done in the same way. Only thing, this you need to replace this quantity because the mu star in the case of Sun will be different. This is your mu star. So, in the case of the sun, here this has been taken for the moon, and AC also in the case of the this is here moon. The sun will be different. So, accordingly, if you put those values, so you can calculate where the battery center is located. Okay, other distances also we can note it. Just if we look here in this place, this is one point zero zero five one, and from there if we subtract zero point. One point zero zero five one, and from there we are subtracting zero point zero one two two. So we get here so here on the normalized scale, this distance from this place to this place. This is zero point nine nine two nine, and on the actual scale, this value will correspond to. On the actual scale, if you look, this value will correspond to three eight 
1670 kilometers so l3 is located toward the left of the earth at a distance of 381670 kilometers so this way we can compute all the distances now if we add this distance and this distance so we get the location of the l1 from the center of the earth and this distance will be 1.0.0122 plus 0.83 69 this this distance i have written here and this equal to 0.8491 okay and on the actual scale this distance corresponds to 326390 km so this way all the distances can be computed so i am just writing some of the values here you can check yourself this value will be 1.1557 plus 0.0122 minus 1 0.1 679 and this will turn out to be 64541 km so you can see that the location of the l2 point from the moon on the right hand side is 64541 km from l2 uh, from this distance from here to here this will turn out to be on the normalized scale this is 0.1509 and on the actual scale this is 58006 km so all these computations can be done you check yourself do it yourself this point already we have written this distance is 46 Eight nine kilometer as we have calculated on the next page. so all together we have uh, five lagrange points out of this the three i have shown you and the same way as you know the distance because it's on equilateral triangle l4 and l5 and this distance you are aware of so immediately you can calculate these distances so it will be the same isn't it so if i show earth here in this place and uh, moon here in this place and draw a circle and then draw a equilateral triangle like this so this is the location of l4 this is the location of l5 this is your earth and this is moon barry center is located here this is point b now from here what we should notice that as the moon is rotating around the earth so right now the moon is here 
after some time the moon will come here in this place. So, what we need to do? We just need to join these points, draw an equilateral triangle here this way. So, then this becomes your L 5 and this becomes your L 4. So, L 4 and L 5 in the inertial frame they are rotating, but if you sit down at the very center in the synodic frame which is rotating along with the earth moon joint line which is the line joining earth and moon which is rotating. So, if you are sitting on that and then also you are rotating, so you will see that the L 4 and L 5 they are always located in the same place. So, if we, if, uh, if there is a turn, so here my observation line will become this, okay, moon will be located here thereafter. So, again I will see that the moon uh, this L 4 is located here and L 5 is located here. So, in the synodic frame it is uh, always located in the same place. Now, L 4 and L 5 it can be proved that these are the these are the stable Lagrange points. And for stability it is required that if I write this as m 1 and this as m 2. So, m 1 divided by m 2 this should be greater than 24.96. If this relationship is satisfied then your Langrange point will be stable. Now, here in this case in the case of the earth and moon this ratio is 81.3 which is greater than 24.96. Hence, L 4 and L 5 are stable equilibrium points. So, these are the stable equilibrium points. On the other hand, L 1, L 2, L 3 they are not the stable equilibrium points. So, we'll do all the things uh, covering this whole the stability issue and other things it is not possible it will take at least next uh, uh, 15 lectures or more than that. So, what I will do that uh, whatever I am able to cover in this uh, lecture and the next lecture. So, thereafter I will uh, give the handouts uh, working out all the details. So, it will be circulated during the uh, while the course runs, okay. but the main things for uh, the main results will be discussing here in this place. So, here you have this distance is 3, 8, 4, 4, 0, 0 kilometers. 3, 8, 4, 4, 0, 0 kilometers. The same way this also. So, all these 3 are equal to each other. From the moon on the right hand side, somewhere on this side, your L 2 is located and this distance is 6, 4, 7, 0, 0 kilometers. And this circle already we have taken to be uh, the full uh, whatever the radius is there. So, from this point to this point this is your 384 384400 kilometer. Okay. Now, the point L3 is located if you look here in this place uh, L3 we have worked out 381. 670 kilometers okay. from 
this part we have written here 381670 kilometer so we have l3 is located say here in this place this is your l3 so the distance from this point to this point this will be 381600 kilometers now because these are the stable equilibrium points okay, and therefore some trojans are found around orbiting this point because these are stable so if some particle is here so those particles will be lying here in this place however because of the presence of the sun the l4 and l5 points its equilibrium gets affected but still you will uh, see in the nature that the trojans are located over these points it's a uh, orbiting there okay. and uh, this we call as the halo orbit an l1 point is lying somewhere in mid between and uh, that distance also we have written here say so this is the point l1 and distance from moon to this place this distance is 5 8 1 6 0 kilometer similarly similar case applies also to the sun only thing that the distances you have to look into properly okay. if we we'll go back and look here in this point l3 so sun earth it's a 1.0 okay. while for the earth moon case this is 1.005 so there is a difference on the normalized scale so this we have to take care of while working with the system okay so we'll continue in the next lecture thank you for listening